Hey, Wilson. What's up, man? Dude, I got a confession to make. Okay. You were right. Yeah. I don't know if I really want to admit that with you with this camera all in my face and you brought your friends with you, but screw it. Wilson, you were right. Okay. You, you even know what you were right about? No, I don't know what you're talking about. You were right about the JBL Go 4 being oh. the better speaker out of the three that we talked about, which was the the Clip 5 and the XB100 from Sony. Sit down, man. Let me let me elaborate on this because I just can't be telling you you were right. You might get a little big headed on me. Anyways, see, I got it clipped on my back. Ooh, I got a new colorway, baby. That's how much I like it. All right, let me get this unclipped from my bag. Got to bring this bag in later because I'm going to show you some stuff. Get a close up, Wilson. Boom. JBL Go 4 in the camo colorway. Where, where did they do that at? Seriously, man, this is nice. What you think about this colorway? <laughs> the orange pops so That well orange is like so freaking hot, man. And it, oh, it's just perfect. Got Wilson over here just chomping Wilson. on this toy. Oh, not Wilson, my bad. <laughs> Raylan. Raylan is chomping on this toy. You keep going at it because if you're doing that, you ain't messing with me. But back in the day, I don't know, a few months ago when the Go 4 and Clip 5 came out, we did a little comparison. We compared, it's upside down. We compared the Go 4, XB100, and Clip 5 to each other. Which one did I pick? You picked the Clip. I picked, oh, well, yeah, no, I, mean, I think the I picked the XB100. Yeah, out of these three, you picked the Sony. For sound. Yeah. Okay. And I still believe it is the best sounding speaker of them. It has the most bass and has the better everything as far as sound goes. Uh, for portability wise, I really did enjoy having the built-in carabiner on the clip. And that's because I come from the clip four, which was like my go-to. But this one is still a great speaker. It's just that I am now reala realizing that you were right, man. Not only does the Go 4 sound better than the clip five, but not as good as the XP100. Not only does it sound better than its, its bigger brother, it's also more portable. It is the most portable of the three speakers. I'll explain why in just a moment. But seriously, the portability king. You see that right there? Get a close up, Wilson. Yeah, look it. at it, bro. Look at it. No, seriously, <laughs> look at it. I'm looking at it. Can you see it? I can see it. I, I need you to see it. I'm okay. looking. Okay. Portability king, man. <laughs> That's what this is. Look at this. It's literally palm size. I had to add my own carabiner, Wilson. You actually said you could add your own carabiner to this thing. Because I tried to convince you that the Clip 5 was the joint because it had a built-in carabiner. And what did you say? I just said I could just put my own on the go. I'll be damned if I that ain't what I did, man. Like, I don't even like the fact that you was right. I really don't. But I'm going to go ahead and suck it up and admit it today that sound-wise, this is number two on the list. Okay, it's still number two for me. But it is definitely the most portable of the three. And I'm going to call it the portability king for the rest of this video because that's exactly what it is. It's got a loop. You got your pinky finger in that loop, right? So it's, you know, you just pinky that bad boy around. Just, you know, just jam it and just pinky the hell out of it. But then when you want to clip it on something, you put your own carabiner on there. I got a little bitty one and I clipped it on my back. Let me show you what we do. So I told you we walk to restaurants now, right? Yeah. Now, we do not live in like this population dense like metropolitan area i live in the suburbs so when i say we walk we be trekking bro it's, it's <laughs> hiking almost yeah except we're in houston so we yeah. don't have no hills <laughs> but it's hot as hell man. it's hot af but we still get our walk on man we take Raylan with us and we'll go to a restaurant we'll sit on the patio or whatever let me tell you what i got in my bag we'll do what's in my bag kind of thing so i got my bag right it's got all kinds of attachment points so i got my hand sanitizer in here because you know People be fist bumping, shaking hands, and sometimes you touch stuff that you probably didn't really wish you would have touched. So your hand sanitizer, right? And then you got your water bottle. I put my water bottles in there for me and my wife. And then we got our little dog bowl on the same type of carabiner. Can you see this? You see this? I like this dog bowl. Look, I'm gonna have to put this in my link so people can buy one for your dog. I really highly recommend this dog bowl. Boom, you see that? That's cool, right? That's pretty cool. That's cool. And then he just drinks out of that bad boy. When he's done, I shake it off and, then, and just let it hang and dry as we walk some more. But since I got all these attachment points, that's plenty of spots for me to clip on my JBL Go 4. It feels weird saying clip on your JBL Go 4. Does that sound weird? Yeah. Being that the clip actually exists. So what I do is I typically just clip it on right here at this little loop. And then, boom, it's just sitting right there. It's on my person attached to my bag and I'm getting my jam on. But because this thing sounds so good, it sometimes is a little bit too much because it's so close to my face. 
So I'll just unclip it. Let me see if I unclip it while it's on me, because I usually do. You just unc. It's these freaking carabiners, man, with these little locks on them. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So then I could just quickly move it to a lower spot and maybe turn it up one more notch, and then I got the perfect amount of sound because I'm still trying to talk to my wife as we're walking. But then when we get to a restaurant, it's clipped on my bag, right? I never put my bag on the floor. Dude, things be going down on the floor. People have taken their kids to restaurants and stuff, and you know, kids be doing some stuff. I think kids are nastier than dogs. And I can say that because I've actually raised one. Kids are disease-ridden human beings, it's just nasty. That's where cooties come from. <laughs> it's not girls, it's all children. <laughs> Anyways, you got this thing attached to your bag. Let me, let me just put it somewhere. Let's put it right here, boom. So it's attached to your bag and it's just sitting in a chair and you got your jams playing right there as you drink your margarita or eat your breakfast taco. I say that because that's what we do. But because it's so small, it's not heavy and I can just do that. It's not like taking up a whole bunch of weight or making the bag feel uneven. And even if you don't want it hanging from your bag, let me show you this, Wilson. Let me just open this up real quick. All right, so we got these pockets in here, right? Can you see these little pockets? Yeah. All right, clip four or clip five. This can go on the outside of the bag, but it's got some weight to it, right? Or you can shove it on the inside. If you shove it on the inside, it'll fit there just fine. It's, it's not bothering anybody, okay? This is the XD100. This ain't, well, it can go in the pocket, but it's just gonna take up a lot of space, right? And then you can just dump it in there right there. But this one, I've actually traveled with this thing. And when you're traveling, dude, check me out. When you're traveling, you need to save as much space and weight as possible, especially if you travel like me. I'm a one bag traveler. Sometimes I have like a backpack and a duffel. And with that being said, you need to conserve as much space as possible. You take this little JBL Go 4, you slide that joint right there. And you got so much room and it fits perfectly in that pocket like it's its second home. Raylan, what's your problem, man? What's going on over here? You need some belly rubs? Let me get you some belly rubs. Turn over, man. Let me rub your belly. Let me rub your belly, doggy. There you go. Oh man, that's a good belly rub right there. That's a good belly rub. Okay, I'm done. Now, back to... <laughs> and now he's gonna bring me all his toys. Get that nasty thing out of here, man. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, so yeah, extra portable. Matter of fact, not extra portable, ultra portable. It is the portability king because it's a lot smaller, thinner, it weighs less, and oh man. I hate that you're right. May I also point out that you can actually point it towards you too on the table. Oh, unlike the other one. Well, the other one you could point it towards you, but this one also has the pads on the other side so you can up fire that bad boy. That's what's up. It's a really versatile speaker. The only thing I still don't like about it is the trash ass battery life. From five, uh, the, what is the JBL Clip four? Yeah, wait, no, the Go, Go three. The Go three had four hours of battery, five hours of battery life. Let me just back up. Raylan's distracting me. I don't know my numbers. This, this, this freaking Elmo. Why? Why? What it? <laughs> you're killing me. <laughs> Arguing with you? You're, you're killing me, man. Is this necessary? Okay. Okay. Lies this. Okay. I. 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 Lies this. Lies this. Danke. Neither. Neither. <laughs> He's mad. He's so mad. He's so <laughs> he is pissed right now. <laughs> Anyways, where was I? Uh, oh, the battery life. So the JBL Go 3 had a trash battery life of five hours. The JBL Go 4 still has kind of a trash battery life at seven hours. And it pales in comparison to these two, which have double digits. I wish that somehow you could pull more battery life out of here. But I say that, but I've never really had to charge this thing. I've only charged it like twice because I listen to it at low volume. So it's not cranking up or uh, cranking out all the juice. It's just that I have battery anxiety. Sometimes I feel like, okay, how much more do I have on this thing? That's the only thing I wish that they would change. Other than that, I feel like it's a perfect speaker. What do you think, Wilson? I think it's pretty good. Yeah. You just feel like you was right. You just riding on the cloud right now. <laughs> Dude, I, I don't even know. This, this feels weird, just saying you're right. I think that's why Raylan's upset. It's because he feels like you're right too. What do you want, man? What, how can I help you? What can I do for you? What? What? Is Timmy stuck in the well again? 
Let's go find Timmy. Let's go. Hey guys, I got a room. Take the speaker. Me and Raylan gonna go find Timmy. See y'all when I see you. Let's go, Raylan. Let's go.